All right, so uh, now that I've, I've basically had this argument with this guy, you know, I I understand that you know we are the ambassadors of our company and our customer and stuff like that. I understand that. You know, and I'm just generally a nice dude to these people. You know, look, it's like, I don't know you, you don't know me. We're probably not even going to learn each other's names unless my name's written on a piece of paper or you have a name tag on. We have a temporary business relationship. Your job is to load my truck or unload my truck. My job is to, you know, park where I'm supposed to and do whatever little safety things I'm supposed to. Do whatever I need to do so that you can do your job. And when you're done doing your job, I can do mine. We have a symbiotic, temporary business relationship. I've met a thousand people, probably more than that. Oh, just probably thousands. It's just all kinds of places like this. People I'll never see again, most likely. People I don't know the names of. People that I'm sure don't remember me. And I'll probably forget most of them, too. You know, but... I don't see any reason to be a dick to these people, you know, especially when, you know, these are the people that are loading me. Like, if I can get these people to do their job quickly, then it, I can do mine quickly. So it, it benefits me to be nice to them, you know. But at the same time, like, I, I, I'm sorry, I got to draw a line somewhere, you know. I got to draw a line somewhere. And that's where I drew, I drew the line. Like, if, if I didn't have so much money at stake to where it's basically like, I, I could possibly get out of this, this situation if this guy would just help me out. And I'm, it's not like this guy has to physically unload my truck. It's not like this guy has to do anything but just sit his ass on his forklift, drive it over there, work a couple of levers and unload the rest of my truck. He's got to unload it on anyway. It's your fucking job. You've already signed for it. Just take the shit off my truck. So I go back to my truck and I'm just like, this is bullshit. This is ridiculous. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? And I'm thinking, you know, and he apparently he's the only forklift driver, at least in that area. And I'm thinking about my options. I'm thinking, well, I can, I, one thing I was thinking about is walking over to their main office and finding someone to talk to, you know, or some shipping supervisor and saying, look, this is a situation I'm stuck in. Like, I wouldn't even rat that fucking guy out. Cause I don't know if he's having a shitty day. I don't know what is. I don't know what's going on. But you know what? I wouldn't even. even if I end up talking to his boss, I wouldn't even tell him like, "You need to go talk to that guy because he's got a problem." Like I don't know what his deal is, but he needs. He's got anger issues. Like he's freaking the fuck out on me when he doesn't need to. I don't know what his problem is. Like I wouldn't even do that. I would just say, "Look, this is the issue, and uh, you just you, you know your guy doesn't want to unload the rest of my truck. I don't know why." But I would just, I'm hoping that someone could unload my truck so that maybe I can get out of this situation. So I thought about doing that. You know, and I, I also, I, dude, I'm of the mind at this point to where I'll sit here. I was so pissed off. I said, I'll sit here till the mud dries and then back out before I spend $650 for someone to pull me 20 fucking feet. That's I was that, that's where I was at. Or at the very least, I'll wait till the next shift change. I'll sit here until the next forklift drivers on the next shift come in and ask them to unload me. You know, I'm like I am like I'll do anything but spend 650 fucking dollars or how much ever the fuck that that shit cost. I've known guys that have gotten their trucks towed, truck trailer load and all for like 4 or 500 like towed from the highway to a shop. This guy, these these guys want six hundred and fifty just to pull me out. Like, come on. And yeah, I I probably could have kept on calling different shops to see if I could have got it cheaper. But oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think about that at the, at the time. And when I was trying to find a tow company that could help me, 
you know, I was I, I couldn't find anybody else to come out. Well, they're saying they wouldn't. So I'm sitting in my truck and I'm like, you know what? Let me try something. So I uh, I saw a trick that I saw someone do on a pickup truck is where you take a ratchet strap and you run the strap through the the, the wheel of the the drive wheel through the tire through the wheel around the tire. And you take the ratchet and you ratchet it down on the tread of the tire. So when the tire spins, that ratchet will catch in the dirt and give you a little bit, like a paddle, and it'll kind of help you out, give you a little bit of fucking traction. So I, I grabbed a two-inch strap, wrapped around one of my drive wheels, and cranked it down real tight, and uh, gave it some fuel, and it, it came down and it caught... And then I, and it wouldn't go, and like the rest of the wheels were going, and I gave it some more gas, and it just went, it just went right through that mud and kept going. I was like, God damn it, this is unbelievable, <laughs> you know. So that didn't work, and I'm just sitting here stuck. And I'm thinking, you know, straight up. Because I'm thinking, 650 bucks. I'll sit here till the mud drives. I'll spend the rest of the day here. Because it stopped raining at this point. And I figure, if it does, as long as it doesn't rain for the rest of the day, how long could it take the mud to dry? Six hours? 12 hours? I don't fucking know. I was ready to give up the entire day just sitting there. Just sit there. And, and you know what? And moreover, I was willing to just be the big, the big red truck that just sat there in front of everyone. In front of every fucking delivery driver, in front of every worker that works at that fucking place, just sit there and be the truck that's stuck, that's halfway unloaded. And when people are just like, why the fuck is, what's going on with that? Because if they would have asked me, I would have told them, like, that guy won't unload me and I don't know why. And, you know, I'd like to try to get out, but I've still got how many ever thousand pounds on me? 20,000 pounds? You know, I... I what, what can I do? Roll the coils off onto the concrete? <laughs> the fuck? I can't go find a forklift and unload myself, can I? <laughs> so I sit there for a little while, you know, just thinking about shit. And eventually, after all these trucks get unloaded, I look over and I see this asshole and his, and his forklift cruising on down to the back of my trailer. And I look in my, my mirror here. I look in that mirror over there. Or, yeah, I was looking in that mirror. And he comes up. And he uh, starts unloading me. Takes one off. Then takes another one off. Maybe took him five minutes, if that. That's it. Took him off. Set him on the concrete. Drove away. I'm like, how fucking hard was that? Really? You know what I mean? And it's like, I think what the guy's problem was, I guess, I'm, I'm just assuming, because I wasn't about to go ask him. I think what his problem was is that because he was filling in for somebody, he was overwhelmed or some, you know, I don't know, his girlfriend was fucking fighting with him or so. I don't know what the guy's issue was. But I think it's because I asked, I asked him if he could unload my truck while he was unloading other ones. And I think maybe he, he thought that I expected him to drop what he's doing and go unload my shit. That's not what I was asking him. He could have said, I'll tell you what, man. Let me go ahead and finish up all these trucks. And then I'll come down there. I'll, pull, I'll, I'll, see, I'll see if I can get the rest of those off. Because he's of the mind that he's got to like go off-road to get the, this load off or something. That's all I had to do. That's all I would have done. I, I, I just would have used my eyes and said, oh, yeah, I don't have to drive through mud to get those off. Yeah, give me a few minutes, man, and I'll come down there and I'll load you real quick. That's it. And that would have been the end. I would have said, all right, thanks, and walked off. But this guy had to make some big, giant fucking issue out of it. And what the fuck for? This is why I don't get into arguments, because what's the fucking point? Like, what the fuck did that guy accomplish by being such a prick? You know? And he's pissed off. Now I'm pissed off. And, you know, we're both pissed off at each other. Fucking yelling and shit. Like, what's the point of all that? Why couldn't you just just said, just like, you, even if you're pissed off, just say, yeah, man, I, I, just give me a few minutes, I'll get down there. You know? 
Uh, you don't need to suck my dick or anything. Just, you know, say, hey, you know, I'll see what I can do. I would have accepted that. I would have <laughs> okay, all right, I'll be in my truck. No, that couldn't be that way. Couldn't just be simple and polite, you know? So that guy is so, you know, I'm thinking, all right, now I got the weight off. You know, let me let me see if I can rock this bitch out now that we're light. Oh yeah. I forgot to add this in earlier. Right before I walked away when me and this dude were in our screaming match earlier. Cause I was thinking he he was saying like, oh, you know, you, you you sit over there all day, you know, and I, I you know, I, I may not unload I won't unload you at all or something. I turned to this guy, I said, I give you a hundred bucks cash. To, to pull the rest of this load off. 100 bucks cash. He's like, he's like, no, man, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'll give you five $20 bills to pull this shit off my truck. And I was fucking serious, too. And this guy's just being a belligerent asshole. You know? So, fuck you. Because, you know, then once I got unloaded, I was rocking the truck and I was able to get it further and further... But that son of a bitch, this thing would not come out of th those ruts. It was just so in there, and it was so slippery. All of my tires were just, like, coated with mud. I could not get out of there. I'm like, damn it! Now what the fuck? You know, how am I going to get out of this? If I had a, sho if I had a shovel, I could have gotten out of it. I could have dug my way out. But I didn't have a shovel. So I was thinking... If I could somehow source out a shovel, maybe there's a shovel around here somewhere or something. You know, or, what, or figure something out. I, you know what? I'm a problem solver. If I got to call an Uber to come pick me up and take me to the nearest fucking Menards or Home Depot to get, get a shovel and some other shit I think might be useful, I'll go do it. I ain't got a problem doing it. I got the money to do it. It's a shitload cheaper than $650. So I'm sitting here thinking about my options, and I'm, I look in my mirror, and like, <laughs> like the clouds part. Have you ever seen like on TV when that like that beam of the sunlight shines down through the clouds, and it's usually like like God shining down on something. That's basically what happened. It, it, the sun shined down, and two dudes on a fucking backhoe pull up right behind me looking over and I'm like what the fuck is this so I jump my ass out of the truck and I, I you know go over there and he says hey uh you want us to pull you out I'm like that would be pretty awesome man he's like uh hey uh I can't remember exactly how he worded it but he said are you uh are you look are you looking to pay us or whatever I said dude I'll slide you guys some cash if you get me out of this <laughs> I'm a man of my fucking word <laughs> You know, I've got money. I just don't like to fucking waste money. Six hundred fifty dollars is a waste to me. Hundred dollars to get out is not a waste to me. You know, when you're when you're trying to operate a business, you gotta you know, sometimes spending three hundred dollars can save you a thousand and shit like that. You've always got a way outcome. Should I do this? It's gonna cost me, you know, seven hundred. But in the long run, I'm gonna save a couple thousand. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta balance shit out in your head. So, you know, just with a regular, you know, Caterpillar or John Deere, whatever the fuck it was, regular old backhoe, one nothing special, just had a bucket on the front, and a back bucket on the back, throw a chain around my, uh, um, around my rear axle, and they they pull the chain tight, and I'm like, all right, let me jump in and I'll help him. Put in reverse. You know, let the clutch out And it just pulls it right on out Like fucking nothing You know, the dude wasn't coming off the ground Or anything, like it was just It, it came right out All it needed was that just extra little Just that little push Came right out So when I got my When I got my truck Where I wanted it to be Jumped out Walked over to the dude who was uh, taking the chain off my rear axle. Here you go. There's a hundred bucks between the two of you. He says, like, hold the cash out to him. Bunch of twenties. He says, you sure, man? I said, dude, yeah, take it. Yeah, it's 50, 50 bucks for each of you. 
I appreciate it, man. You know? That that hundred dollars I would have given a shithead if had he helped me out. I would have done it. Even though I, I I didn't get out anyways, it wasn't the point. You know, I just you know, I want uh, I just needed some shit to get done. And I'm willing to pay you for it. You know, I shouldn't have to. Because you're already getting fucking paid to unload me. But, you know, if I, I sometimes I don't I don't mind see that's something you learn. When you get out of being in, in the company game and you start making real money. You know, and you start, you got some fucking cash money in your pocket and shit like that. You know, you can, you can grease wheels with that shit. You know? You can go to places like, like, you can, you can do that. I think, I don't know if I've mentioned this on a video before, but you can, like, I called, I called a shipper. I, I was stuck at a, a, a receiver for a long ass time. They had me there like four or five hours. By the time I got out of there, I had to go... It was like noon or some shit. And I had to drive three hours to the next place to pick up. And it would have been after three o'clock by the time I got there. And they they like stopped shipping at 2.30. And I told the guy on the phone, he's like, Yeah, all our, we're open till three, but we stopped shipping at 2.30. I said, Dude, tell your, tell your forklift driver, I'll give him some cash money if he stays late for me. You know, I said okay, I'll tell him. And sure enough, I did. I gave that guy, I gave him twenty bucks. I think I gave him twenty bucks. You know, fuck, he only stayed thirty minutes late. Twenty dollars and half an hour tax free ain't fucking bad. It was a Friday too. It was a Friday afternoon, which is also why you know I was really grateful that he stayed late for me because it was a Friday afternoon. I'm like, here's some beer money, dude. You know, get, go get a case of Natty Light or some shit, you know, on the way home. There you go. You know, and he's like, you don't have to tip me, dude. I'm like, I'm like, dude, it's Friday afternoon. If you didn't stay late, it would have cost me like two grand because I would have had to sit until Monday to pick this shit up and it would have cost me two grand for the weekend. Two grand off this check. So, to take the 20, you know what I'm saying? You could do that shit. You know, it's just when someone really comes through, really comes through in the clutch for you, like these fucking guys. Jesus. These guys just appear out of nowhere. They're like, they could have been fucking knights in shining armor showing up on a fucking white, just white horses to pull my fucking truck out. I was like, thank you, God. Thank you, God. You know, because I'll pay a hundred bucks. <laughs> Way before I'll pay six fifty, you know. Especially like I'll pay a hundred bucks to a couple guys who are willing to do it, you know, for whatever I give them, compared to some company that wants to fuck me out of six fifty for something that ain't worth it, ain't worth six fifty. But anyways, so that was that, you know. You know I, I like to think of these as learning experiences. You know what I mean? This whole job is just one big fucking learning experience, but I don't know. It was just interesting. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know when the last time I got into a fucking argument with someone like that was. I can't even remember. Like a legitimate, like where I was actually fucking mad at them. I can't remember when that's happened. But I don't know what was up with this guy, but anyways. So what is the moral of this story? Keep Always keep cash in your pocket. Don't be afraid to grease the wheels. I'm not saying you need to fucking tip everybody. You know, especially just tipping people for doing their jobs. But when someone goes, a, goes the extra fucking mile for you, you know, especially if they're really coming through in the clutch for you and pulling you out of a fucked up spot, you know, don't, if you've got cash, if you've got cash money and you can afford it, uh, don't be afraid to fucking see if you could, you know, say, hey, man, I'll, I will give you, I'll give you, especially if you're in a fucked up situation where it's like, I got to go right now so I can get this load or, you know, I'm under the gun because hours of service or whatever the, the fuck it is. Hey, man, I'll give you 20 bucks cash to to finish load me right now or to do this or that. You know, I, I'll slide, I got 20 bucks cash. I'll slide you $20 and just see what they say. 
you know? It's, it's someone making fucking $11 an hour running a forklift all day, you know, 20 bucks looks pretty good to them. 20 bucks cash, especially on a Friday afternoon. But anyways, that's that. Um, sorry to divide this into two parts, but whatever. Uh, I will talk to you guys real soon.